Under the mayor's business, we have a communication from the Republic of, of Southern Cameroons. Um, it's, it's a letter, and here to read the letter is uh, Fru Nakin Bay. Um, and also, uh, Council Mercia has a motion to the same effect. If there's a second of the motion, we'll take it up at the same time. Second by Council Leary. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just wanted to thank you to take that motion out of order. On May 2nd, I made a motion to support a resolution for the Southern Cameroon community in New England in its desire to restore its national sovereignty. And City Solicitor Christine O'Connor prepared the vote for this resolution, which passed unanimously. And it was presented to the government. And Fru Kimbang would like to address the council and thank the council for the, the um, what they have done. Mr. Mayor, dear councillors, our city manager, and the uh, wonderful people of Lowell, my name is Fru Nkimbe. I bring great greetings from uh, King Angwafo, the third of Mancon, whom uh, you know, is an honorable member of this council and the people of Baminda, our sister city. city. Uh, we are very thankful of uh, the uh, unanimous resolution that you passed condemning the human rights abuse uh, in the Southern Cameroon. The governing council in Southern Cameroon sent a thank you letter. They actually send it uh, email it directly to the uh, mayor and also g gave us a copy. So we would like to read the thank you letter uh, to the council and the people of uh, Lower. Uh, here, standing on my right, is uh, George Foyong, the president of the Cameroonians of Lower Association. And on my left is Patrick Manjong, and uh, behind me is. Uh, my son, Fru Nkimbang Jr. <clears throat> On behalf of Southern Cameroon's Ambazonia um, Constituent United Front, Boya Southern Cameroons, a thank you letter to the city councillors of the city of Lowell, Massachusetts. Dear city councillors, the citizens of your sister city in Bamenda and citizens of the soon to be sovereign Republic of Southern Cameroons both at home and in diaspora, would like to thank you unanimously, voting on May 2, 2017, to pass a resolution in support of self-determination and de democratic freedom for our people. While it may be argued that resolutions do not have enforcement powers, no one would deny that they carry a moral virtue that is universally powerful and timeless. This can be seen in the results that the passage of your resolution did for our course immediately after it was passed. Number one, thanks to the passage of the May 2nd resolution in the chambers of Lower City of Council, the government of French-speaking Cameroon was shamed to reinstate internet service to the English-speaking people of Southern Cameroons. Prior to the passage of the resolution, the English-speaking regions of Southern Cameroon were denied access to internet. Anyone familiar with the history of genocidal governments, including the history of Rwanda genocide, remember that media blockage is generally a prelude to genocide. There is unanimous belief in our community that your vote, the vote you cast in these chambers on May 2, 2017, helped prevent genocide and other forms of mass killings in southern Cameroons. Two, thanks to the passage of the May 2 resolution in the chambers of Lower City Council, a major American law firm that is working to find legal pathways for the restoration of the independence of the English-speaking people of Southern Cameroons now has an important moral document on which to build its case. The law firm has actually gone beyond praising the Lower City Council to quietly appeal to local governments in the cities across the United States of America to follow Lower President's certain example. Thanks to the passage of the May 2nd resolution in the, lower, in the chambers of Lower City Council, there is a rebirth of hope and enthusiasm in the people of Southern Cameroons. Victims who would have otherwise given up 
or resign themselves to the machinism of persecution, now know that only do they have a listening ear out there, they know they have an advocate. In passing the May 2nd, uh, 2007 resolution in support of freedom for the people of Southern Cameroon, you prove once again that you are that light on a hill, the city whose light brightly shines to illuminate parts of freedom for regions and countries of the world that are yet to find freedom. Finally, in passing the May 2nd, 2017 resolution in support of freedom for the people of Southern Cameroon, you prove once again that you believe in the universality of preamble of America Declaration of Independence that says, we hold this truth to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that amongst these are life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted amongst men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever a form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute a government. On behalf of the soon-to-be-free citizens of Southern Cameroon, the African community of Lowell, I once again would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Signed June 30, 2017, Tassan Wilfred, Secretary General of the Southern Cameroon United and Bozina Cameroon Front. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So, any discussion from the City Council? If not, the Chair would entertain a motion to accept the communication, place it on file by Council Mercy, a second by Council Rourke. Discussion, Council Leahy. Um, <clears throat> I just want to say thank you for coming down and speaking, and I'm glad that um, I can't think who brought the motion up, maybe <coughs> Council Mercy, but um, thank you that we could be part of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. I, I concur. Um, the motion passed you unanimously and, and rightfully so. Um, I, I think it's important while, while we are such a diverse city and we know that we all have pride in our heritage and culture that we take actions that we possibly can to support the human right atrocities that are taking place and certainly um, I've seen video after video of, of what's taking place, whether it's on Facebook or, or even national news, and this is the least that we can do to support the people that are suffering for the basic human rights that we have here, and, and I'm proud to take this vote and, uh, and, and to support this effort. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor of the motion? All opposed? So voted.